Hello, this is Sal. Uh, today we will be talking about configuring internet access on an ASA 55005 Cisco device. As you can see here in this uh, network, we have uh, the ISP1 router here and the ISP2 on this side. I configured just the uh, connected them and I will work with you step by step until the end and you will find uh, the steps or the go, uh, walk through on this uh, video uh, in the description uh, now on uh, the ASA let's run this command first there is no password and show run as you can see here it's uh, the DHCPD address we will delete this and also the IP address for VLAN 1 and we will configure our own and I'll show you how we will do that here uh, configure terminal interface VLAN 1 no IP address just simple like that now the HCP binding cleared on interface inside address pool removed and exit here and also we will put the no and copy this line from here all the way to the end copy and here we type no just paste it anywhere and hit enter now show run and as you can see here it is gone and the VLAN IP address VLAN 1 is also gone now uh, I'll, let's configure a name for the ASA device. I will name it uh, uh, ASA, just ASA, and a user name of admin and the password also admin. And enable the password, the enable password of Cisco. Uh, now let's configure the interfaces for the routers with the IP addresses as shown in the diagram and then OSPF routing protocols on the two routers. So I'll show you I'll do this here uh, enable show IP interface brief. As you can see here there is nothing configured yet so I will uh, do it uh, now. Configure terminal interface gig zero zero, which is this side of uh, on router uh, ISP one. Now for this interface, go no shut. IP address of two o five dot one dot one dot two subnet mac. 255.255.255.0 now the other interface of serial 000, 000 no shut IP address of 10.1.1.1 and this is a slash 30 so the submit mask will be 255.255.252 now let's move to router ISP2 Enable, configure terminal, interface, the interface facing uh, ISP1 of the uh, serial 000, no shut to open the port, IP address of 10.1.1.2, and also this is uh, slash uh, 30. Uh, sorry about that. No shot. IP address of 10.1.1.2.255.255.252. And the other interface on gig 0, 0. No shot. IP address of 8.8.8.1. .8 .8 .1. 
255-254-255-255-255-0. Now let's us run a show IP interface brief. As you can see here, this is for the gig 0, 0 on this side of the router and the 10.1.1.2 this side of the router and the same on uh, router 1 show IP interface brief so 5.1.1.2 and 10.1.1.1 for this side now let's uh, run OSBF on both routers configure terminal router OSBF router uh, process ID of 1 we have two networks on router ISP 1 and the network of 205.1.1.0 and the inverse subnet mask of 0.0.0.255 .0 .0 .0 0 in area 0 the other network of this network facing router 2 of uh, 10.1.1.0 and the inverse subnet mask of 0, 0, 0.0.3 area 0 exit and now let's continue on router 2 configure terminal router OSPF 1 network the network facing router 1 of 10.1.1.0 the 3 area 0 let's see if it there we go and the other network of 8.8.8.0 the inverse of the mask of 0, 0, 0, 255 area 0 now we configured the uh, interfaces on the two routers. We also configured the routing protocol of OSPF. So now let's see if uh, this PC here can ping this interface. Uh, ping 10.1.1.1. And yes, sure it can. This interface here. And it can for sure ping its own default gateway of 8.8.8.1. Okay. Now let's uh, configure VLAN 1 and VLAN 2 with the IP addresses on the ASA device here. So now we have the two routers are ready. And we made sure that this guy here can ping this interface on ISP one now enter vlan one uh, ip address of vlan one of one seven two sixteen dot one dot one one seven two two dot sixteen dot one dot one and the subnet mask of two five five two five five two five five dot zero uh, name f name of the interface inside and the security level of 100 the highest let's exit here and now to go to the interface for vlan 1 which is e01 interface e 0 slash 1 uh, switch port switch port access VLAN 1. Exit. Now we are done with VLAN 1, the inside VLAN. So now let's work on VLAN 2. Enter VLAN 2, IP address of 205.1.1.1 and subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. Name F, name of the interface out side security level of zero 
and exit from here uh, now in the interface ethernet zero zero e zero slash zero switch port access vlan two so now we are uh, done with the two vlans let me uh, run some uh, show command show interface ip uh, brief and it's showing us here for vlan 1 and vlan 2 with the ip addresses up and up uh, show ip address showing us for vlan 1 vlan 2 inside outside the ip address and for both vlans and show switch vlan here the same but uh, for uh, the inside vlan showing us seven ports and for the outside the ethernet zero zero port now uh, let's uh, configure the asa as a dscp server to vlan one the inside network let's go back here and exit here d h c p d address of one now let me show you what i'm typing 172.16.1.5 this is the pool two 172 or the range of the pool from 172.16.1.5 172.16.1.10 and this is we wanted for the inside VLAN which is VLAN 1 now for DHCPD DNS which is 8.8.8.8 .8 interface inside this is the server and with the, the dns dns is configured uh, not configured yet but i'll work on it when it is time to configure it but uh, i configured the the ip address so go back here now uh, uh, DHCP D enable inside we want to enable the DHCP for the VLAN one the network inside now let's see if the PC is targeting the IP addresses and this one got the uh, 1.5 and see this guy here and he got the one with uh, that's six and this guy here got the IP address of 172.16.1.7 now uh, I'll configure AAA to use the local ASA database for SSH user authentication uh, and the command goes like this AAA we have only on this model of ASA, just this uh, option only we want only SSH and console and here local uh, now let's configure the key crypto key generate RSA modulus 1000 24 we want just to enable it we don't want to replace it because we have it so we will hit no now let's configure the ssh ssh we want uh, this network any device in this network to use ssh so anywhere and uh, this device on the network of 8.8.8.1 so ssh or 172.16.1.0 submit mask of 255.255.255.0 .255 .255 .255 
and this is for inside so we have an option for inside outside it's inside now this is h or this guy here at 8.8.8.10 and with the submit mask of 32 255.255.255.255 because uh -huh, it's outside and the option here for this is for outside and we have it is slash 32 because it's just one host one guy this guy from here is allowed to ssh to the esa device enter now let's uh i'll be working on creating a network object and net uh okay so configure terminal is on so the command goes like this object object configure terminal object network uh what to name it uh let's name it inside slash net and for the subnet which subnet the subnet here it's not a host so we will have two options either uh, a subnet or a host now it is the whole subnet the whole uh this network of 162.16.1.1 uh, dot zero sorry so the subnet of 172.16.1.0 and the subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 now NAT we want to translate what? Uh, inside to outside and dynamic or static we want a dynamic and for the interface enter now let's create uh, the access list uh, configure terminal uh, access slash list uh, let's name it internet extended we want to permit permit uh, TCP for a single source uh, or any source or a host we want for any from this network to go anywhere another access list internet also extended uh, permit ICMP, ICMP for any to any and now access group the name of the access group of the access list internet and here we want it for in interface outside and uh, I was supposed to configure a uh, route the default route for uh, the ESA device but I can I still can do it now so I will run it route outside uh, 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.0 and with submit mask and from this ASA de device, the next hop will be this guy here at 205.1.1.2. 205.1.1.2. Enter. So now, let's see if this PCC can ping to go to the internet. Uh, let's ping the server. 
and now we received a reply another ping and we received another reply let's see if this guy can uh, ssh establish an ss session link admin and to 172.16.1.1 the password we said of admin enable and the enable password we configured it as cisco so we can and let's see if this guy can do it the pcb let's go here and uh, let's see if we can uh, do it this way 8.8.8.8 and yes we can so we are able here to go to the internet can this guy ping anybody here pc1 Uh, ping. Uh, let's see. The ping one seventy two dot sixteen dot one dot one. No, it can't. Even it was kicked out from its own gateway because this is uh, the security level of zero, and we can't. You know, we can reach the internet, but we cannot do the uh, uh, way around. So here, uh, let me run this command of uh, show xlate. It is showing us in this command uh, TCP other path from the inside one of the devices. I guess it's a PCB using this port to outside went through this uh, port to the internet. And I means here uh, dynamic, as you can see. And uh, let me see if this also can ping the, the default gateway. Ping 8.8.8.1. Yes, it can. So I hope with the, this uh, video that I showed you uh, or you learned something from this video. So now this is how to configure to have access to the internet using a fire, uh, the device ASA 5500.05. We configured SSH uh, and uh, we went through all the configuration and as you can see the lab is uh, a success. And if you want more details, just go to the description because from now on, as I promised a few videos back that I will write the steps how I did these uh, videos. So it will help you with your study and I wish you all the best of luck. Please, if you like this video, and subscribe to my channel. And if you have notes or you want me to make a video for a subject you find difficult, just let me know, send me a message and I will be gladly uh, doing it and uh, uh, just give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next video soon have a nice day